we got my mama in the back and the girls were heading to Transformed Creative Studios run by Joanne. Um, and it is a creative place for kids to go and uh, yeah, so I'm excited. She's, we've been wanting to go for a really long time. So now finally the weather's better and we're heading there now. From Jet Setter to Fatherhood. This is my life. Two. Okay, there's one. Hi. Hi. Hi, welcome. We got Stella. Stella. Hi. Well, oh, she's sleeping. Hi, how are you? Hi, it's so Hi. nice to meet you. Thanks Thank for coming. You. Thank you. So, this place looks absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. Can you please explain to me what it all is? Because it like there's so much in here. I'm oh, overwhelmed. I'm like, what's well, going on? Thank Even you. Mia, look at Mia. She's like looking thank everywhere. Thank you so much. So, I want to tell you a little bit about the Transform Ed Creative Studio and Learning Center. I am a teacher. No, look quick. Don't look at the camera. Cut. Hey, you put the whole yeah. food in your mouth. Okay, let me get you a little wipe. Oh. Yeah. Up, 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 up. So yeah, tell like show can you show us like what's going on? Yeah, welcome. Welcome Mia to the Transform Ed Creative Studio and Learning Center. I'm gonna take you around. So as you saw, this is where we put all of our coats. This is normally our bench area where the children or the families can sit down and get their shoes on and get ready to go outside. But I like to use spaces in multiple ways, so it's also a photo backdrop. So lots of the families will sit here, they'll take their first day photo, and they can hold this little sign. And then I have set up um, different experiences here. This is for this age group, which is the infant and um, specifically the Exploring Everywhere program. And I'm gonna talk more about this space when we come back to it with the girls, but that's what we're going to be trying out here. Okay. This is a view of our full studio. And I'm gonna take you through some of the most important details as parents, and that is where is the washroom and the change table. So we have full washroom and change table. We also have a grand piano. Do you play? I do play. And um, when the families visit, I know sometimes they get really nervous because they see that the piano is beautiful and it looks like it's brand new, but actually this piano is over 100 years old. Wow. It was redone. So it's an opportunity for us to explore sounds with the children and they can, if they need to bang on it, I don't worry about the sound because it'll never sound the way it's supposed to anyways. Okay. And so they can even try to play with their feet. So you can okay. hold them and they can walk on it and they can hear the sounds. Yay, do you hear that? That's you making music. Twinkle toes. Yeah. What's that? You you good girl. Did we wake up Stella? Yes. Oh, She's good. She's startled. Stella, sorry. you're missing all the fun. So this is our eating area. It's almost like a cafe style, so you can sit with your child in your lap and have a conversation over a tea, or they can use the high chairs. And in this room is where we sanitize everything. So everything we use is natural. Either I make it with vinegar and lemon essential oil and water, or we use this natural cleaner called Thieves. For the adults, if they visit with grandparents or they visit with other relatives, they're welcome to gather around this main table. And I offer some art therapy. So while they're listening to the calm music, smelling the smells of the jasmine or whatever I put into the diffuser, they can actually do some coloring, adult coloring. And with the support of volunteers, we can actually be with one of the children while you have this break as a parent as well. It's also an option. 
Something really important to me is reading, of course, to encourage literacy for young children. So we built a reading house. This is a space for reading and relaxation. And you can go inside the house, curl up with a blanket or a pillow and read a story. It also has a chalkboard. So oh, that's nice. something they can explore when they're a little bit older. Equally a beautiful photograph um, for a, a backdrop. Um, over here in this space, we have sand. So when they're really small in the infant program, they can step in the sand on the lower box. And then the older children, they can be scooping sand from the higher level if they're pulling up and they're actually standing and holding on. I try to set up something different on our art space. And so today we're gonna be doing some painting, some new canvases maybe for your home. I was thinking that um, if we put some of these balls on top of the canvas with the paint, they My just- My new home. Yes. <laughs> They're gonna kick the feet with the ball and also the paint, and then they'll create a beautiful masterpiece. Okay, and then you were saying that the paint is, is all non-toxic. No, the edible paint is for a day that we don't use the feet, we use the hands. Okay. Yeah, so for today we're only using the feet because we don't want anything to go into the mouth. Okay, but I do make edible paint, and it's really fun. So I'll show you the rest of our space. You can follow me. So over here we have a light space. It's the colors, it's the bouncing of the light and the mirrors. So it's they... the pride section. Oh, well, <laughs> I, I love, I love all the colors. All the colors of the rainbow. Yes, they're so beautiful. And look at this one. Yeah. So we're gonna see ourselves in the mirrors. We're gonna see the light and we're gonna try some different so we'll do this today? Yes, uh -huh. we'll do this. And we're gonna take all your legs and your toes. We're gonna sing some songs. Hey, hey, hey. She didn't tickle her legs. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There you go. Oh, you got tickled too. And we'll say hello to our friends. How are you? Choo choo. And yes. we'll say hello to Mia. How are you? Choo choo. And we'll say hello to Stella. How are you? Choo choo. In here we have some magnet play and we also have our farm animals and puzzles and books. If they're interested to try a very safe first painting opportunity with just water on a Buddha board. So the Buddha board, it is white and then it turns to this color and eventually it evaporates and goes back to being white. It allows you to release some of your stress of making this perfect masterpiece. So it's more about the process over the product. But at their age, of course, it's more about the paintbrush because they're very curious to hold everything. So that's my daughter when I open the studio. That's Liliana. And I'll show you some more pictures of them. It, the reason why I opened up the studio is because of my own children. Over here, I have a gift for your girls. I'm a strong believer of giving children the opportunity to be creative from a young age. Crayola has designed products that are great for this age group. So I started my children with these non-toxic crayons. They fit directly into the hand so they can draw. And then eventually when you're ready for the first a marker, they've created these markers where it's flat, so there's no point, which okay. means however they use it, they never ruin the marker, and it's washable and non-toxic. Yay, say thank you, Stella. You're welcome. Say so I have to you. show you. Thank you, Joel. When I started thinking about the studio a year ago, my daughter was four months old. How long has the studio been here? Just a little over a year, but it, it took okay. me about three months to actually renovate and create it. Okay. So when she was four months old and my son was getting closer to two years old, I realized there wasn't a lot for us to do as a family other than swimming and gymnastics. And I wanted a place where they could socialize, interact, but also do some art, make a yeah. drawing, make a painting, keep some memories that were creative. And so they inspired me and I opened up this space. It started off with a few families that would attend toddler groups or infant groups. And now we've grown to over 350 people in a year, wow, which is very amazing. exciting. And this season we're fully packed. Um, we have 75 families. We're coming. Yeah, we we're can coming. do it. And let me show you one more picture because I'm a very proud mama. So this is <laughs> Sebi when we first opened up. Aww. 
And this is Lily. She was, when we first opened our door, she was six months. Okay. Oh. Yeah, with her big little cheeks. And now she's navigating the space by walking, and I just can't believe how fast they change and develop. And I have baby fever, so I love that I do this work because I'm around children. So I'm gonna play with you, and I'm gonna hold you, and I'm gonna sing to you, and I'm gonna tickle your toes, and I'm gonna be very, very happy in my day and my class. So in this space, we have an opportunity to explore music and sounds. We have some of the more traditional instruments like the xylophone. And of course the guitar. It might be these sounds that they're interested in or just the tapping of the wood. We have the tambourines. You want a sitma? Here, sit here. <clears throat> we have some bells. Like that sound? Oh, okay, you go. Can I put her in yeah, here? Absolutely. Ooh, this is the one I wanted to buy. There you go. This is the one I wanted to buy for you. So we have bells. Oh, so much easier. We have little so much easier baby to get this. maracas. See that? You can try these. We have a rain stick, so if you go gently, they hear the sounds of the rain. Or it sounds almost like a stream. You hear that? We have little bells in Bella here as well. Hand. And then we have non-traditional instruments like pots and pans, which we all have at home. That you can go like this one and a two and a three and a four. And then I have for some movement. I have ribbons. See that? You're smiling at me and not my ribbons. <laughs> Here. Hi. And I've also included some stories. Now we're getting closer to Father's Day, so I have a book called My God also is because Amazing. I am amazing. Oh, of course. <laughs> so I will read you your first story in the studio, okay? My dad is amazing. My dad is cooler than a million popsicles. Cuddlier than a ton of bunnies. Look. Sweeter than a pile of pancakes. Mm, she's happy with pancakes. Mm. You want the food, don't you? Funnier than a bunch of underpants. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Ow. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Yay, very good. So now I'm gonna make some space. I'm gonna clear some of this out of the way so they can lay down on our yellow scarf. And we're gonna let them hear some of the sounds while on their back or their tummy and we can put the bells on their wrists or on their ankles. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, the round and round. got some gifts for you and for your mom. So this is for your coffee and I can tell you a little bit about the logos and how those came to be. 
When my children were first introduced to the studio, I knew I had to develop my brand or work on my branding. And I invited Andrea from Blue Orchid Photography. She came to photograph our finger painting. And that's how the first logo came to be, oh, wow. which is the finger paint. And then our graphic designer, Elisabetta Costa, she um, actually developed two others. So now you have all three logos from your t-shirt to the two. Oh, I get to keep it? Yeah, yeah, you get to keep it. Branding, branding. So you were saying that you actually, you're doing your PhD, right? Yes. I am a teacher. I've been teaching for over 12 years in the public school, kindergarten mainly. And during that time, I had the opportunity to travel to Italy and see what they're doing in the infant toddler centers and the preschools. And I was beyond, beyond inspired. It changed everything I did in my kindergarten classroom. I didn't go once. I went four times to learn from these schools. And after finishing my master's, York hired me to teach teachers. And I knew at that point, opening up my consulting company and having the chance to really spread the word about early learning that I needed to take it further. So that's why I'm studying um, for my PhD. I finished my courses and I'm at the stage of the research now. And part of the research is obviously my studio with the families and the children. So the motivation was for my own children to socialize and have a chance to be creative, but also I wanted to open it up to the community and show families that they can be present when they're parenting with their child and to be in the moment and to be creative and to start from a young age because children can learn from so many different materials, not just one. And uh, I think this studio provides a full body experience. For yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anything like it before. Yeah. There's like something to do everywhere, which, you know, it gives. And there's a lot of detail and thought into everything. I carefully curate every little corner and I want it to feel like that special space. The children deserve that and the families deserve that. And when they come in, they're often very pleasantly surprised that this is a space for kids. Mm -hmm. And so I love the reaction that they have. And so you have an outside area we as well. We do have an outside area as well. And I took you through the space with infants, but we run toddler classes, preschool, kindergarten, all the way up to 12 years old. We just switch around how the setup is for the kids and also different events. We have events around the holidays, for birthdays. And my favorite, which if I can take you over there for just two seconds, I teach Greek and I also have an Italian teacher who teaches Italian. So it's a, a lot of people feel that this studio has been created solely for infants, but I have to really share with you that it's a classroom that looks like what I had in kindergarten. And so in fact, children in kindergarten love it just as much as the infants do. We have four months old that start and they begin at that age because parents really want a support system to get out of the house, to meet other people, to have a chance to talk and to give their children an opportunity to hear stories and songs. Mm. But truthfully, once they can actually sit up, crawl around, even walk around, they love it even more. Okay. So when they can be independent, they really enjoy the experience because now it's not you wondering, will they like this? It's come with me dad i love this area and this is where i want to be even if they're not talking yet and so do then the kids decide kind of themselves where they want to like yes is it pre-plan the class so or it's kind of each, you go as... each class i set up different learning areas so the materials change i give the children an opportunity to explore i give them a tour first and then throughout the class i'll do stories and songs and snack break just to get them to sit as a group and we always do our goodbye circle with songs so they can get to know each other and each other's names. But overall, it is a play-based, inquiry-based program inspired by the work in Reggio Emilia in Italy. And the children have a lot of choice. And I think that's important because we want to create strong, confident future citizens that can decide that I love this, this is my passion, and this is what I want to do for my life. Another benefit to the studio that the parents tell me about is that when they leave the studio, because of all of the stimulation of the colors, the sounds, the songs, the people, they sleep for about three hours afterwards. They're so tired. Listen, as long so. as they're sleeping through the night, I'm... <laughs> do you want to put this on or do you want to keep her in the onesie? I think it's no. okay because it's just Oh yeah, feet. just a few, yeah. yeah.
first masterpiece. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna Good. date it. Wow. Next time we come, Mia has to do one. Yes, for sure. Oh, is she sucking her thumb? No. No, okay. Now you're happy that yeah, you yeah. painted? Do you like it? Or now you she's all smiles. Look at you. you did that. Yeah. It looks like a heart. Look. Very nice. She's all smiles. And Mia is sleeping. It's beautiful. As I mentioned, my daughter and my son grew up in the studio space. And you can see how independent she is. She's finding her own paint. She's starting to draw. Are you going to make a drawing? I'm uh, making a chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream? That's so yummy. Can you say bye and thank you to the camera? Bye. Say bye. Bye. I think that's a wrap. That was such a fun experience at Transform Ed Creative Studios and I'd like to thank Joanne. Besides it being an amazing experience for the girls, um, it also teaches you a lot of what you can do um, for creativity right in your own home. Um, so yeah, and Joanne just knows her stuff. She's getting her PhD in early childhood education. So I just really trust her with a lot of the stuff that she was talking about and she was doing with the kids. Um, and so this week's giveaway, uh, you need to subscribe and comment for a chance to win a free session with Joanne. And uh, yeah, so good luck and thanks again, Joanne. <laughs>